let me take this two router we will do one lab for a static route okay so i will take this cable i will connect from here to here and then i will take some switch let me take some switch and let me take here also one switch i will connect this here i will connect this here let me take some computer here let me take one server here and one laptop here and then i will connect this here okay so now let me give the ip schema here i am going to use the 192.168.12.0 slash 24 and this side we will use 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and this side we will use 192.168.2.1 slash 24 okay and if you want let me reset this i will move this here okay so let's do the lab now here we will write a static i will do r1 configuration first okay enable config t host name r1 interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write then ip address same thing what we done before 192.168.12.1.255.255.255.0.0 and then we will write no shut and then another interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and we will write here ip address 192.168.1.1 Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, and we will write here no shut. Okay, this is just assigning the IP to the R one. Now let me copy the same thing and paste here so we can do for R two also. So I will copy and paste here. Let me modify as per our requirement. This is R two. This is R two. This should be two, and this should be two. Okay. so this is just assigning the ip now we need to do the configuration ip root ip root i am standing here i need to send the traffic here so i need to write the network id of this one so network id will be 192.168.2.0 then wildcard mask 255.255.255.0 next hop will be this one 12.2 so 192.168 let me write here 192.168.12.2 okay this is a root we need to configure here and similar we need to configure here so i will paste this here here this one 192.168 1.0 okay 1.0 is a network id for this subnet mask and here we need to forward the traffic 192.168.12.1 so this should be 12.1 okay So now let me copy and paste this one. I will go in the CLI of this one. I will write here. I will paste this here. Let me paste. So if you see everything is good here, everything is working perfectly. Okay, and let me save here because no error. We will check now. First, I will copy paste the configuration. Then we will verify also. so when i copy paste everything is good no error is coming here let me paste here also okay everything is good nothing is having no error nothing let me save here also let me check now save here also and we can check i can write here show ip root when i write show ip root we can check in the routing table A routing table we have the codes here like this and if you see this is a s s is nothing but static static root and here this is the network if anyone want to go to 192.168.2.0 they can forward to 12.2 and here this is a ad value is 1 and matrix is here 0 
later we are going to discuss the metric also so now you have the root for this one and if you check here also you will have the root for other side also show ip root we can write static also so we will get direct entry if anyone want to go to this network 1.0 network forward here so you will have this ip here now this guy can communicate before they cannot communicate now they can communicate because we configure the static root and this is a basic ip i will assign to one machine here so they can access and gateway should be the router ip this router ip should be the gateway so let me assign to this server so we can ping the server so this is 2.2 so let me assign this ip to the server so i will go here and i will assign i will write here 2.1 this is a gateway now let's see this guy can communicate with the server or not because already we configured the static root so uh, let me write 192.168.2.2 .2. okay and let's see they can communicate or not so request time out first packet will go for the arp after that it will start working still yeah now it is working because we have the root it, that's why it is working so what we can say this is a static root